trap and syslog messages are slowing my monitoring solution to a crawl. This is an incredibly common problem for new monitoring solutions or when new capabilities are added. Trap and syslog are extremely chatty, generating hundreds, thousands, even millions of messages per hour. And that uh, message flow can really have an impact on the normal monitoring operations, which are, you know, polling devices, collecting log files, uh, running queries for alert triggers and things like that. And Trap and Syslog can completely batter a monitoring server uh, with their data stream. So what you want to do is create what I call a Trap and Syslog filtration layer. That's a separate machine. It can be an open source or a low cost solution and it will receive all of the trap and syslog. All of your devices need to be reconfigured to send it to that. That device doesn't have to be a single server. It can actually be a series of servers behind a load balancer, which is doing round robin, so you can extend out that, uh, the, the receivers as your environment grows. The rules on those trap and syslog receiver servers are going to get rid of probably 80 or even 90% of the messages, because a lot of them aren't necessary. You just throw them out or throw them into uh, a database for to look at later for your audit team. And then only the messages which are really actionable, the ones that make a difference, whether you have a routing uh, neighbor down or you know a spanning tree uh, election or things like that, those get passed through to your monitoring solution. The volume is an order of magnitude smaller in most cases. And those are the ones that your monitoring solution deals with, associates with the other monitoring data that's coming in, and then creates alerts to go uh, and alert to let you know that you need to fix it. To see how you can relieve the pressure that Trap and Syslog may be creating on your monitoring solution, visit solowinds.com and download a free trial of Kiwi Syslog and Trap Server today.